Hey, 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 what is up, folks? Today I wanted to show you how to make a Starfield effect in After Effects. And basically, if you're not familiar what that is, is um, if you've watched Star Trek, Star Wars, pretty much any science fiction movie out there, um, they have stars coming at the camera, and you can, you know, composite a, a spaceship on top of that. Um, or just have stars going in the background of your um, green screen windows if you want. Uh, whatever, the sky's the limit as far as... Um, <laughs> pun not intended. Um, uh, as far as what you can do with this. So let's get into it. Um, I looked around YouTube and I didn't really see any good tutorials on how to do this. So I decided to uh, find a way to do this in After Effects myself. So... It was pretty easy, actually. I just kind of banged it out uh, fairly quickly. Um, starting here, I've got a, a project open. I want to create a new composition. Uh, I set mine to 1080 uh, high def at 30 frames per second, but you can set yours to whatever your project happens to call for. Um, you need to start with a new solid layer. And we'll just leave that at white. Make sure it's the same size as the comp. And we're going to run an effect on that solid. So come over here and do a search for particle. It's because we're looking for CC Particle World, which is right there. And the default that comes up for CC Particle World is this ugly uh, yellow and red sparkler effect. That is not what we want. So let's change the particle to a faded sphere. And then we're going to change the color to white. And we're going to change the death color to kind of a medium to dark gray. You can set that to whatever your preference is, but uh, I liked that dark gray. Now that's getting better, but it still just looks like a bunch of bubbles. And we want to change the birth size down to a little bit smaller and the death size to a little bit smaller. And also, they're still falling down towards the ground, if you notice. We do not want that. So let's go into the physics and turn the gravity to zero. So now, they're going to start in the center and fly towards camera. Now, uh, that looks very cluttered for space. So I'd like to move those stars a little bit farther out. So what we're going to want to do is come click in here and we want to change, oh, let's see here, this little circle, we want to move this up and this out so that we get the stars a little further apart. And you can set that to your liking. I actually want to bring that in just a tad. So now if I uh, play that back, that's a pretty nice little star field, if I do say so myself. Um, but you can tweak any of these settings in here to your liking. Like if you want to turn the birth rate down, change the longevity, um, you can keyframe some of the stuff. So if you actually want to move around and and uh, kind of change the camera angle and so forth. Um, also, the animation type, I played around with that a little bit as well, and you can have a directional axis. So if your, fl your ship is like flying to the side or something like that, uh, you can change the direction. Uh, this viscous, or however you say it, uh, actually worked okay as well. Kind of had a little bit more of an interesting look to it as well as Fractal Omni, but the problem with Fractal Omni, I noticed was stars look like they were flying backwards, and you don't want that. So there's a lot of settings in here. You can change it to your liking. Um, and that's pretty much it. So I'm going to sign off, guys. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to comment on my YouTube channel. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and thank you so much for watching.